This is lesson 1b, and in this lesson we're going to learn three scales. And they are going to be extremely easy because most of you have done them already in book one, so they'll be kind of like a review. And because they all share the same finger pattern, which is why we're doing them together. They are the scales that start with your open strings. So we'll do G, D, and A. Now when we're learning scales in book two, First, we're going to learn a ton of scales by rote. And what that means is you're just gonna learn them by ear. We're not gonna worry too much about what's going on on the written page. We are going to try to figure out how they're made, and that's why we had the theory lesson on scale construction. So we are gonna try to keep track of our patterns and our half steps, um, but mostly I just want you to get that sound in your ear and to know what a major scale sounds like and what a minor scale sounds like. Okay, so this lesson we'll be learning three major scales. Let's start with A. So we're going to play a one octave A major scale and we'll repeat our top note and then we'll come down like this. How easy is that? Let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. How easy was that? so easy that I think we could do a pinky and not play any open E. We need to make sure he gets enough exercise so that he doesn't grow up to be a weakling. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Ready, go. Get ready, pinky. Okay, that's A major. Pretty easy stuff. Let's do the arpeggio. The arpeggio is like a broken chord, and it plays the first, the third, and the fifth scale degree. So, it's easier to see it and hear it than for me to explain it. Here's how an arpeggio goes. One, three, five, eight. Five, three, one. Try it with me. Ready, set, go. Okay, do it again and watch your pinky. I bet you that some of you are sticking your pinky down here in Suzuki jail. Keep it out of jail. Ready, watch your pinky. So that's a major arpeggio. Let's do D major, the scale. Okay, let's play pinky. All right, we'll play up the scale, repeat the top note, and play down. Ready, set, go. I think you can play the arpeggio with me without me playing it first. Remember, it's the same finger pattern as the arpeggio we just played. Okay, try it, starting on open D. Ready, set, go. Let's do it again and watch your pinky. Okay, ready, go. Now we'll do G major, the scale, 
Now, remember on the G string, our arm is up higher, and we really like to try to go crooked on the G string. So remember to reach your bow out front. It's out front of you. It's not off to the side, okay? That takes a lot of practice before it becomes automatic. G major with our pinkies. Ready, set, go. let's do that again and I want you to pay attention to your thumb make sure it's not squeezing okay ready go When you're practicing your scales, that's a great opportunity because they're easy. It's good for you to work on relaxing your thumb and breaking bad habits if you have any bad habits. It's also a great time for you to practice in the mirror and check things like straight bow, especially on that G major scale. Let's do the G major arpeggio. Watch your pinky. Ready? Go. That's it for lesson B for this week. Play every one of those scales every day in your practicing. They don't have to take a lot of time, but they do have to take a lot of focus. Okay, I will see you in the next lesson.